So behind me is the house structure in Dayton, Western Australia, that was built by the Hadrian X back in July. It was the first time we had taken the Hadrian X out into a residential environment. And as you can see behind me, um, the house has been finished off very nicely and it looks just like every other house in the street, which was the ultimate goal for the company. As part of our commercialisation journey, it was important for us to demonstrate to everybody that what the Hadrian X is designed to do is to fit in within the construction community as it is today and to build homes the way they appear to everybody today. So we're not trying to change too many things. In fact, if you take a walk in the house, you'll notice that it looks just like any other well-finished off home. And the end result for us is that we can now appeal to the broader building community here and overseas and utilise the machine for building structures as people would like to live in them today. So once all the building activity is finished on the adjacent lots to this home, we'll put it out on display for people to come and have a look and a walk through. Uh, we really hope that some of the people that were here during uh, the activities of the Hadrian will come back and have a look at the finished home because uh, we're very proud of the, uh, of the end product. So after we've given people an opportunity to come through and have a look and also some of our uh, building clients, uh, we'll market the property for sale. This moment has been a long time coming. You know, I can point back five or six years where you know, I dreamt of the day we'd be standing in front of a house built by the machine and a house that looks just like any other house in the street, built by a local builder using locally made materials uh, and here we are standing in front of that very house. This is a very proud moment.